Hello photographers, we're back here in Photoshop today because now that you've edited all of your photos for your photo assignment, you need to export them as a JPEG so that you can get them out of the Photoshop cloud and uploaded into the Justin's Layout Pro uh, website so that the other part of the staff can start using them to create pages based off of your beautiful photographs. So let's get started. You can do this one at a time with your photos or you can open up all your photos at once, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to do with one here. It's really simple. You're going to go up to File, Export, Export As. And this dialog box should pop up. It probably will show an image of your photo here. If it doesn't, don't worry, it still works. Just double check to make sure that your format is set to JPEG. This is very important because the Layout Pro software does not recognize the other two file formats. And then all you have to do is click Export. Now I'm going to suggest that you just export them into your downloads folder. So click on the downloads to the left. If you want to give it a different title, you can, or you can just leave it as a number file. That's fine. And click save. And that's all there is to it. Then all you need to do is you need to open up uh, the Justin's website. So if you don't remember how to log in, remember if you go to the important stuff topic section in Classwork in Google Classroom, it has your login information. And then all you have to do is click on create go to image library. Once you're in the image library, depending on the year, this should be the way it's organized. You should have the folder that says yearbook staff photos. You need to click on the black arrow. Remember, if you don't click on the black arrow, it doesn't do anything. Click on the black arrow, locate your folder. So I'm going to pretend I'm Abby here. I'm going to click on Abby's folder. It might not be a bad idea if you already have a lot of photos in here to make a new folder just for Hoko or whatever your uh, photo assignment was. So I'm gonna do that for Abby here. Oop, and I just realized, hold on, I'm gonna back up because I realized I'm in the wrong folder. Make sure, because we have two separate folders here, make sure you're in the photo staff folder. I'm glad I actually made that mistake so I can show you in the video. So again, find your folder. I'm gonna click on Gracie's here. Gracie doesn't have any photos, but I'm going to make a folder anyways in here. You can always add more folders. And I'm going to call it Hoko Edits, so I know it's the homecoming edited folder. Then make sure that when you're in there, you click on that. You're going to click your Upload. You're going to click Upload Images. You're going to go to your Downloads folder and click on that photo and you're gonna click open. Now I'm not gonna do that simply because this would put that in Gracie's folder and I don't wanna confuse her, all right? Once you are done with that, go back to Google Classroom and hit mark as done. Remember, you are uploading a minimum of 10 in here. They must all be edited though in Photoshop. Be careful you're not over editing, right? We still want these to look natural. They should just be really good clarity, good tone, good color balance. And if you want to make some compositional adjustments, that's fine. That's it. Good job, photographers.